Next is uh, loose mud of uh, barley and oats, and uh, these have the same symptoms as as uh, you have uh, told about uh, loose mud of wheat. The covered mud of barley and oats. Uh, the occurrence of covered mud of barley and oats is worldwide, and it is uh, found almost every uh, barley field in traces up to five percent. Higher intensities are found in sub-mountainous uh, areas. Uh, the symptoms of uh, this uh, covered smut of barley and oats here, uh, this is oats and uh, this is barley. Uh, the affected uh, ears are the most prominent symptoms. Uh, ears emerge at uh, their normal time, uh, however they are uh, shorter in size. Persistent membrane, here you can see the persistent membrane uh, that is enclosing the mass of black spores. Uh, lower parts of uh, gliomes and arms uh, remain intact in this case. Penetration takes place uh, uh, before the emergence of uh, seedling in the soil. Uh, dissemination uh, is occurred by, occurred by uh, seed, wind and uh, contact during threshing operation etc and uh, sometimes the spores are also soil borne as well so this is the uh, disease cycle uh, here here you can see uh, these are uh, uh, invaded into the uh, seed uh, or they are uh, contaminated with the spores and uh, when uh, the seedling germinates uh, these mycelia invade the young seedlings and uh, these uh, follow the growing points of uh, oats um, by moving upward and mycelia invade the uh, grain sides and uh, uh, that infects the grain and uh, replaces the muscle of, uh, uh, the, uh, replaces uh, the grain with the muscle of teleospores. These teleospores land on the flowers of the healthy plants and infect the developing grains and then this cycle starts again. Management that is same as uh, the loose mud of weight. So thank you very much. I hope you like uh, this video. Uh, please uh, share with your uh, friends and other students. Have a nice day.